Hello everyone, my name is Ant. And lately I saw a lot of strange comments on my channel. Why I can't use NPU for inference LLM on my PC? Why I just can't run Llama CPP on Halo? I just brought a new PC, but it doesn't support my LLM. I start to think that people didn't understand the situation around the model hardware and NPU. So in this video, I want to tell you a basics about all this NPU stuff and how just to utilize it. Or probably you know a lot of these frameworks, but most of people don't understand that all this stuff is just a wrapper for a low level software. On the top level, it's LLM inference. On the next level, usually it's just a hug and face, which is also a wrapper around PyTorch or different libraries, which is also usually a wrapper around some hardware support like CUDA or um, Intel NPU or CPU. This structure is super far from unique hardware because even PyTorch has super limited support of different hardware. For example, like even TensorRT. Yes, you have PyTorch TensorRT, but it's not in the main version of PyTorch and you need combines this specific version if you want fully support TensorRT from your PyTorch. In this PyTorch TensorRT, there is no easy way to use your DLA. Formally you have them, but just to go through the quest of installing all libraries and all containers that will support this DLA, pretty complex question. Even if you go through all the stuff, you never know if this PyTorch TensorRT with DLA will support any of this LLM. And this DLA, it's actually the hardware acceleration for neural network. There are a lot of ways and approaches to do this. For example, in Hagen phases, there is a optimum model which can run inference through. Furthermore, I tried to find description how to run LLMs easily there, but there was no easy description. For VLM, you definitely can run some visual part on accelerators. For example, this approach is used on Rockchip, check one of my previous video about this, where they just split network on two independent part. For one part, they run it like with all NPU cores, for the second part, just with one core. Let's go through all main vendors, IMD. Also, I have a video about their NPU. They have PyTorch version, which could run LLMs, but just check all this code. It's not production ready and they warn you that you shouldn't use this any of this in production. There is a lack of guide for this stuff. So definitely if you have a lot of and a lot of time you can try to use it. But if you want something more stable, IMD provide support for some of LLMs. To use them you need to registrate like as official user of this or my attempt to registrate this, I didn't receive any permission to you. For IMD, it's not ready yet. Intel. Intel is much better. I didn't test it myself, but the documentation is pretty clear. You can check even Optimum from Hugging Face is utilizing it. I don't know if it's successfully or not. Please write your opinion in the comment. Qualcomm. Last time I checked them three years ago, and it was definitely before all these LLMs. Today I saw a lot of utilization from different people of um, this Qualcomm NPU driver. Actually, you can even find this in LM Studio, I think, which support Qualcomm. So I think like that Intel and Qualcomm, it's two main vendor which support somehow LLM with their NPU and you as a user can have some benefit from this. But even for them, it will be a hard quest. Rockchip. I have a lot of videos about Rockchips on my channel, some of them about LLMs, VLMs, and in my opinion, it's the easiest platform to utilize this. But of course, you need to spend a lot of time to set this up. And of course, it's 
it will be not working out of the box. Halo. Halo preparing Halo 10, which should support LLM neural network. But there is no information about this yet. So it will be pretty interesting. Probably you remember on my channel I mentioned SEMA AI. It's a different accelerator. And in their late release, they announced they can support LLMs, but I didn't test this as well. Is there any hardware with a good support of LLMs? Definitely yes, but it's server hardware. You, as a regular mortal, just can't have access to it. For example, like Google TPU. Yeah, you can like uh, rent some machine in cloud, but you just can't this buy it physically. Tesla TPU, you just can't have access to it. Of course, it's Grok. You can have some access in cloud, I think, but also it's not like direct buy this. But I need to mention that situation is getting better each day. Where it will finish? I think it's worth to check how everything is working for computer vision right now. Because computer vision and all these hardware accelerators, it's stories that going from maybe 2017. The best use case here is detection models. When you export each of these detection models, you need to spend some time. Of course, there are stuff that make your life easier. For example, if you will use Ultralix repositories, you can easily export your YOLO v5, YOLO v8, or YOLO v11 almost on any platform. It will be not all the platform, but it will be around 10 different platforms. And of course, you need to pay money for usage of this YOLA because of the license. For some of frameworks, they have scripts for export, but usually for most of them, it's just export for TensorRT. And of course, there is a different approach how to export your models. And usually it's approach where all vendors they have guides for exporting their models on their hardware. So you go to some vendor, export their model, and then you can use this after this export. But of course, all vendors, they don't support all computer vision models. And usually for each vendor, it's around three, four maybe detection models, like five classification, and one model for each different task. Three approaches. You do it yourself, you use some payable framework, or you just use the models that vendors is supported. I expect that there will be the same situation in LLMs, at least in the next few years. For example, it's already some frameworks where you can pay money for easy hardware utilization, like LM Studio and Slost and some others. But each one of them doesn't support all the networks, of course. And there is a second track where vendors provide some support. But for general models like Transformers, PyTorch, and so on, I think there will be, a, in best case, it will be support of Intel, NVIDIA, AMD. Of course, for NVIDIA, it will start from TensorRT, and maybe for some network, it will be daily. So, thank you for watching. I hope this guide helped you to go through all this LLM support for NPU. And I hope we meet the next time. Bye.